Hello everyone! Today, we are going to have a review on child and adolescent learners and learning principles. I will read the questions and I will give you 5 seconds to choose your answer. After 5 seconds, I will reveal the correct answer and give a rationalization or explanation of that corresponding answer. I hope that you will be honest in testing your knowledge on this activity. Let's start. Number one, a student knows that the examination week is approaching. But instead of studying, he chose to spend his time playing computer games. On the examination day itself, he opted to pray for miracles rather than studying. Which attitude towards religion is displayed? Letter A. Religion as fake. B. Religion as magic. C. Religion as authentic. D. Religion as real. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B. The particular scenario class shows the attitude of the child regarding religion as magic. The child thought that his prayer will create a miracle and will make him pass the exam. Congratulations! Number 2. In PUJ's concrete operational stage, a teacher should provide blank. Letter A, activities for hypothesis formulation. Letter B, learning activities that involve problems of classification and order. Letter C, activities for evaluation purposes. And letter D, stimulating environment with ample objects to play with. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B. A child in the concrete operational stage, ages 7 to 11, needs skills in classification and order, which requires appropriate use of logic. Number 3. A student is finding it hard to read. When the guidance counselor traced the child's history, the counselor was able to find out that the student came from a dysfunctional family. Aside from that, the child was abused and neglected. What could have caused the student's reading disability? Letter A. Emotional factors. Letter B. Poor teaching. Letter C. Neurological factors. Letter D. Immaturity. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. Reading disability was found to be related to emotional factors. Therefore, a child who is neglected and abused has a higher chance of having difficulty gaining reading skills. Number 4. A child was punished for cheating in an exam. For sure, the child won't cheat again in a short span of time. But this does not guarantee that the child won't cheat ever again. Based on Thorndike's theory of punishment and learning, this shows that... Letter A. Punishment strengthens a response. Letter B, punishment removes response. Letter C, punishment doesn't remove a response. Letter D, punishment weakens a response. The correct answer is letter D. Punishment class does not permanently remove a response from a child's repertoire of behavior. Instead, it only weakens it. 
Number five, laughing at a two-year-old child who uttered a bad word is not proper because in this stage of child's life, the child is blank. A, considering the view of others. Letter B, distinguishing sex differences. Letter C, socializing. Or letter D, distinguishing right from wrong. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. A two-year-old child is learning what is right and what is wrong. And their unloving him when he utters bad words is not a good practice since he might consider it as an approval of his or her behavior. Number six, men are built, not born. This quotation by John Watson states that Letter A, the ineffectiveness of training on a person's development. Letter B, the effect of environmental stimulation on a person's development. Letter C, the absence of genetic influence on a person's development. And letter D, the effect of heredity. The correct answer is letter B. John Watson believes that environmental stimulation is directly affecting a person's development. That's why he was quoted saying, men are built, not born. Number seven, a child who is cold towards the people around him might have failed to attain what basic goal based on Erickson's theory of psychological development. Letter A, autonomy, B, trust, C, initiative, D, mistrust. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B. According to the psychosocial development theory of Erickson, a child who is cold towards people around him failed in the basic goal of trust in the stage trust versus mistrust. A child who exhibits this kind of behavior class might have lacked in warmth of his mother's embrace and affection from significant others. Number eight, a boy is closer to his mother and a girl is closer to her father. These instances are under A, Oedipal complex, B, Latin stage, C, phallic stage, or D, pregenital stage. The correct answer is letter C. When a boy is closer to the mother or Oedipus complex and a girl is closer to her father or Electra complex, these instances are under Freud's phallic stage in the psychosexual development theory. Number 9. A grade 1 pupil likes to play with his friends but gets angry when defeated. PJ's theory states that this pupil is under what developmental stage? Letter A, concrete operational stage. Letter B, formal operational stage. Letter C, sensory motor stage. Or letter D, pre-operational stage. The correct answer is letter D, pre-operational stage, because according to PJ, it is characterized as egocentrism. Number 10, if no one is asked to develop himself to the fullest, what need is it trying to satisfy according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Letter A, safety needs. Letter B, belongingness. Letter C, physiological needs. And letter D, self-actualization. Very good. The correct answer is letter D. According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the highest among the need is self-actualization, wherein the person strives to develop himself to his full potentials. Number 11. 
Fear of something that was caused by a painful experience in the past is an example of A. Insight B. Classical conditioning C. Operant conditioning D. Imitation The correct answer is letter B. Classical conditioning explains why the fear of something, example, phobic reaction to dogs, is caused by a painful experience in the past. For example, class, a person is afraid of dogs because he was running after by a big dog when he was small. Number 12. A teacher rewards a child for doing things correctly. This technique is called letter A, conditioning, letter B, fading, letter C, chaining, letter D, reinforcement. The correct answer is letter D, reinforcement. It is any behavioral consequence that strengthens behavior. It increases the likelihood of the recurrence of the particular type of response. Number 13. Erickson said that children aged 3 to 5 is most likely blank. A. Mischievous. B. Lazy. C. Egocentric. D. Altruistic. The correct answer is egocentric. Children aged 3 to 5 is under the pre-operational stage according to Piaget or characterized by egocentrism. Egocentrism class denotes a tendency of a child to only think of his or her own point of view. Number 14. Erickson labeled children who are 2 years of age as terrible too because... A. They are inquisitive. B. They are sickly. C. They are playful. D. They are assertive. The correct answer is letter D. Terrible 2, according to Erickson, denotes assertiveness of children at this age. And one of our skills during the Terrible too is our ability to use the powerful word no. It may be pain for parents, but it develops important skills of the will. Number 15. A person who is friendly and has the capacity to make people laugh possess Letter A. Naturalistic intelligence Letter B. Spatial intelligence Letter C. Intrapersonal intelligence and letter D, interpersonal intelligence. The correct answer is letter D. A friendly person and has the capacity to make people laugh is a manifestation of interpersonal intelligence. Interpersonal intelligence class is also characterized by people-orientedness skills. Number 16. A child who always fights with his or her classmates, who has a very short attention span, and who has frequent tantrums is believed to be suffering from A. Mental retardation B. Down syndrome C. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder D. Learning disability The correct answer is letter C, ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is characterized by short attention span, irritability, frequent tantrums, disregard for the consequence, and overly active behavior. Number 17, a student with Attention Deficit Disorder exhibits blank. A. Care for his or her personal things. Be impatient while waiting for his or her turn during games. C. Completes work before shifting to another. And D. Excessively quiet. 
The correct answer is letter B. ADD or Attention Deficit Disorder is usually characterized by impatience to wait for his or her turn during games. He would most of the time show disregard rules and show the inability to delay gratification. Number 18. A child treats his friends highly aggressive. The reason behind this attitude is his past experiences with his father, who is also highly aggressive. This is demonstrated in what theory? Letter A, social cognitive theory. Letter B, cognitive developmental theory. Letter C, operant conditioning. And letter D, classical conditioning theory. The correct answer is letter A. The situation demonstrates the social cognitive theory, which possess that a child learns from what he or she observes in the environment. Since the child is exposed to aggression, it is not surprising that he or she exhibits the same aggression towards his or her classmates. Number 19. Based on Jung's psychological theory, a child who is shy and prefers to be alone falls under what classification? Letter A. Extrovert B. Ambivert C. Paranoid D. Introvert The correct answer is letter D. Carl Jung outlined some personality types, one of which is introvert, which is exemplified by being shy and prefers to do things alone. In extrovert, it is an opposite of introvert. Number 20. Blank puts emphasis on the importance of sensitive periods in development. Letter A. Ecological Theory Letter B, Social Cognitive Theory. Letter C, Psychoanalytic Theory. Letter D, Ethnological Theory. The correct answer is letter C, Psychoanalytic Theory of Simon Freud emphasize the child's critical periods of development. He asserts that the child's early experience in life has a direct impact in his later development. Number 21. Contrary to Freud's concept that the primary motivation of human behavior is sexual nature, Erickson's is in nature. A. Social B. Cultural C. Physical D. Biological The correct answer is the letter A. Freud theorized that the primary motivation of human behavior is sexual in nature, while Erickson asserts that it is in social in nature. This is the reason why Erickson called his theory psychosocial theory. Number 22. Blank is described by Freud as the component or components of personality that is concerned with the idea of right or wrong. Letter A, superego. Letter B, superego and ego. C, id, d, ego. The correct answer is letter A. The superego class is primarily concerned with the idea of right or wrong. It is oftentimes viewed as the conscience of personality. The superego is always in direct opposition to the id. Number 23. What idea about age is not right? A. Chronological age is different from biological and psychological age. Letter B, chronological age, biological age, psychological age, and social age are related. Letter C, psychological age and social age are two different things. Letter D, 
chronological age is the same as biological and psychological age. The correct answer is letter D. Option D is not true. It's false. Number 24. Blank reflects the teacher's understanding of development as results of maturation and learning. Letter A. Patience when dealing with the slower ones. B. Creativity with the classroom strategies or task. Letter C. Fairness when giving grades or school marks. Letter D. Cheerfulness and enthusiasm when discussing. The correct answer is letter A. When a teacher shows patience in dealing with slower students at their own pace, he or she believes that development is a result of maturation and learning. Last number, number 25, blank is Erickson's, Piaget's, and Freud's thought about the play. Letter A, contributes to the child's mastery of his physical and social environment. Letter B, makes a child's life so enjoyable that he will tend to hate school life later. Letter C, prepares a child for excellent academic performance in formal schooling. And letter D, develops in the child highly competitive attitude because of the nature of play. The correct answer is letter A, Erickson. Piaget and Freud believe that play allows the child to learn physical skills as well as social skills. Play should not be underestimated for it makes children aware of the dynamics of human relations at the same time gain motor skills. That's it for the first part of our Child and Adolescent Learners and Learning Principles Review. If you got a perfect score, congratulations. And if not, still congratulations for trying. You can still review this again and again and read more reference materials for you to be able to be familiar again with the concepts. Please watch out for the second part of this review. Thank you. I hope you learned something in this session. Have a great day. Bye!